Getting involved in cryptocurrency is the most important thing you need to do now because money as we know it is rapidly changing. Cryptocurrency is the new money and you really need to know how it works. The world is moving from fiat currencies to digital currencies which China is taking the lead. Now, what is cryptocurrency and why you should care about it? Well, I would like to say that you don't just want to care about cryptocurrency only, you need to get involved in it or probably be left behind. And this is why you need to watch this video till the end so that you will learn what is cryptocurrency, get involved in it, and better still, position yourself to be a key player in the crypto world as it is still at its early stage of global adoption. Hi, this is Waffer. Sam to Chukwu. From Project Cryptocurrency Education and welcome to Crypto Pink Board Monday, where we take complex cryptocurrency topics, write them down, and explain them in simple English. In case if this is your first time of coming to our channel, go ahead now click on the red subscribe button and put on the notification bell so you never miss out when we upload educational videos like this. You can as well drop me a comment telling me that you subscribed and I will personally reply to you with an appreciation message. More importantly, hit the like button as that will help more persons see this amazing video and get some value. If you've done that, you are a champion and I appreciate you. Now let's dive deep into the video. First, this is the simplest explanation of cryptocurrency you can get anywhere in the world, so stick around and let's learn together. Cryptocurrency is an online or digital currency built on blockchain that can be used for the payment of goods and services. What makes it special is that it is decentralized, which means that there's no central authority in charge of minting the currencies or regulating the activities in the network as it is done in our traditional banks and other financial institutions. You may be wondering how are the transactions kept or who secures everything to ensure that my digital money is not stolen or lost since there's no central authority or regulatory body in charge of all the activities in the network. To answer this, Bitcoin is stored in a decentralized public blockchain ledger that is shared across hundreds of millions of networks of computers across the world, which is today the largest network of computers in the world. And this is what makes it secure and hack-proof since the data is scattered across the vast network of computers which if one is to hack it, must have to change the information on the ledger in the chains of blocks simultaneously all at the same time and which is invariably impossible. Now you may be wondering what is blockchain? Blockchain in its simplest definition is the technology that makes cryptocurrencies workable. It uses cryptography and encryption in the storage of data and transfer of values as well as all forms of digital assets. As the name sounds blockchain, which suggests chains of blocks. They're simply information cryptographically encrypted in chains of blocks, and each block is unique which means none of the blocks are the same. There are over 13,000 different kinds of cryptocurrencies in circulation across the world at the time of making this video. But it might interest you to know that Bitcoin is the mother of all cryptocurrencies and has been one of the most talked about investments over the past couple of years since its emergence in 2009. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have created a lot of millionaires, but guess what, it has also made quite a few people poor, the reason being that they're uneducated about the investment that they've made, and that is the whole point of this video to equip you with the right information of how cryptocurrency works thereby helping you make right decisions if you chose to get involved in cryptocurrency. You've no doubt heard of Bitcoin and Dogecoin. This is primarily because the two coins went from being worth pennies to way, way more than that in a short amount of time. These coins are among two of the most popular for internet users because they are well known, and lots of people have invested in them. Which means they get the most memes and articles created about them. This does not mean they are necessarily the best form of crypto overall or necessarily have the most inherent value. They are just the most popular, which in the crypto world, is sort of what gives them value. As earlier mentioned, there are actually thousands of cryptocurrencies just like there are thousands of currencies used in countries across the world. Some people have become very wealthy because cryptocurrencies fluctuate in value like a stock. In 2010 Bitcoin was worth pennies of a dollar when it first came out and now averages around $60,000 plus per coin. Demand for Bitcoin is going up and its supply is going down, basic economics dictates that its value increases as a result. However, they also fall in value almost as quickly as they go up which is what attracts day traders to crypto. 
Crypto gains are also taxed like capital gains similar to regular stocks. So if you use an exchange you'll be taxed, since they will report that to the IRS. However, there is a loophole when you pay directly with crypto from one wallet to another so. Do with that what you will. Now let's take a look at technical in-depth analysis of cryptocurrency and how the government is getting involved in it. Once again cryptocurrency or crypto is a collection of binary data, ones and zeros, which is designed to work as a medium of exchange. This sounds complicated but even dollar bills all have serial numbers to verify them and keep a record. It's the same with cryptocurrency. They can also all be divided into smaller pieces similar to how USD can be divided into pennies. Individual coin ownership records are stored in a ledger, which is a computerized database using strong cryptography to secure transaction records, control the creation of coins, and verify the transfer of coins between people. Cryptocurrency does not exist in physical form like paper money, and is typically not issued by a central authority. However, it can be in many governments are working to create a crypto coin version of its respective fiat currency. Cryptocurrencies typically use decentralized control as opposed to a central bank digital currency. When a cryptocurrency is minted or created prior to issuance or issued by a single issuer, it is considered centralized. When created with decentralized control, each cryptocurrency works through what is called distributed ledger technology, which is typically a blockchain that serves as a public financial transaction database. Bitcoin, which was first released as open-source software in 2009, is the first decentralized cryptocurrency. However, since the release of Bitcoin, many other cryptocurrencies have been created with different uses and intentions. Some tokens are exchanged directly for troy ounces of gold or make up digital art and certificates like NFTs, but that's all too complicated and advanced for a beginner to worry about. Wait to get into that part of crypto until you're familiar with the overall market and culture. Having known all this, let's talk about how you can get involved in cryptocurrency. The way to start buying and holding cryptocurrency would be with an exchange. There are several popular ones, and you can use them right on your smartphone. This allows holders to buy, sell, and store their crypto on their phones or on a computer. You may want to consider wallets and exchanges like Robinhood allows users to trade stocks and several cryptocurrencies. Also, Robinhood will give you a free stock for joining. Another amazing one to consider is Coinbase. Coinbase is one of the largest and most user-friendly apps dedicated to cryptocurrency. You also get a $5 sign-up bonus when you choose Coinbase for your cryptocurrency transactions. All you need is to download the app and enter your info and connect to a bank account. After that, you can trade instantly, but be careful, you might get addicted and start checking it all the time. Any amount of money is enough to get started because you can buy slivers of a coin, it doesn't need to be a whole coin. However, experts agree it's best to invest at least $100 across a few different coins to start. Before making any investment decisions, please consult with financial planners and experts as this will help you not lose too much for nothing. We also advise that you only invest what you can afford to lose. For the more advanced, there are wallet apps that can be downloaded. This would mean the coins are held on your device in the storage drive or in a virtual wallet. Users can access this wallet with a unique code. When buying, experts agree it's best to stick to the top 100 cryptocurrencies as they are relatively low risk and are quality projects. Anything under the top 200 is just gambling as most of the quality projects are already created and in the top 100. A lot has been said but these are the key things to note about cryptocurrency, which I would recommend as your takeaway from this lesson. First is blockchain, a growing list of records, called blocks that are linked together using cryptography. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. The timestamp proves that the transaction data existed when the block was published in order to get into its hash. As blocks each contain information about the block previous to it, they form a chain, with each additional block reinforcing the ones before it. Therefore, blockchains are resistant to modification of their data because once recorded, the data in any given block cannot be altered retroactively without altering all subsequent blocks. The second is fiat currency. Fiat currencies are a medium of exchange established as money, 
often by government regulation. Fiat money does not have intrinsic value and does not have use value. It has value only because a government maintains its value or because parties engaging in exchange agree on its value. Third is a ledger, which is a book or collection of accounts in which account transactions are recorded. Fourth is the medium of exchange in economics. A medium of exchange is any item that is widely accepted in exchange for goods and services. In modern economies, the most commonly used medium of exchange is currency. Fifth is meme, an idea, behavior, or style that spreads by means of imitation from person to person within a culture and often carries symbolic meaning representing a particular phenomenon or theme. A meme acts as a unit for carrying cultural ideas, symbols, or practices that can be transmitted from one mind to another through writing, speech, gestures, rituals, or other imitable phenomena with a mimic theme. But on the internet, it's usually pictures or graphics with funny things written on them. And there are several meme tokens that are turning people into millionaires and are currently making waves in the crypto industry. Sixth is market cap, crypto market capitalization is the total value of a cryptocurrency. Where stock market capitalization is calculated by multiplying share price times shares outstanding, crypto market capitalization is calculated by multiplying the price of the cryptocurrency with the number of coins in circulation. Seventh is crypto mining. Crypto mining refers to the process of gaining cryptocurrencies by solving cryptographic equations with the use of high power computers. As the outcome of this work, the miners receive pay with the mined cryptocurrency. The method is called mining as it puts new coins into circulation, just the same way government prints new money. And finally, crypto wallet. A cryptocurrency wallet is a device physical medium, program, or service which stores the public and or private keys for cryptocurrency transactions. If you ever forget everything we've talked about cryptocurrency, never about these takeaways. Before we call it a day for this video, below are our final words. All we've said in this video is by no means all there is to know about crypto. However, this should be a great jumping off point to learn more. Cryptocurrency is a vastly growing industry, which means there's a whole lot to learn. More advanced topics include how crypto and the systems they are used with could replace all currencies, middlemen, and even governments. We've created videos on delicate topics on cryptocurrency and are done in simple English which makes it very easy for anyone who speaks and understands the language to learn. You can check out our channel for more videos like this, and in case you've not subscribed yet, do well to click the red subscribe button and put on the notification bell so that you will be the first person to get notified whenever we post a new video. In case you have a question or anything you wish to say concerning this video or cryptocurrency in general, drop them in the comment section, and I will personally respond to them. If you did get any value from this video please, hit the like button so that YouTube will show it to more people to benefit from it as you did. You can as well recommend or share this video across social media platforms or to individuals you feel it would be of great benefit to. Cryptocurrency is the new money and the future of money, get involved or position yourself to be a key player in the industry and you will thank your future self for it. Do know that we deeply appreciate your presence here and many thanks for watching.